we're going to drive to the next job. It's a 24 by 24 Cape. You will not believe the ride. Just hold on. Let me turn this camera around. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yes, all right. Look at that. That is how far I have to drive to work to the, for the next two or three weeks. Let's go take a look at it. I didn't even buckle my seat belt. Look at this. Let's get out and talk about it. <laughs> as I mentioned, as on the long drive up here, 24 by 24. It's going to have clear span eye joists. Those are due to be delivered any any minute. We're framing, uh, I brought a couple pieces of pressure treated up for the front wall. Because it has step downs, it has the top back, steps down, comes forward, steps down again. We're going to kind of build them in place. It's just a little bit different setting. The front wall is standard. So we're building that one first to establish an eight foot, one and a half inch high ceiling. Let's go up there and look down. They did a really nice job fixing all, all the, the earthwork around here. You can see down there my trailer and the red, my red roof on my shop. That's how close it is, amazing. So this wall to the floor is five feet high. So if we're doing eight foot ceilings or eight foot walls up here, this will be the ceiling of the downstairs floor. Then we'll have a 14 inch eye joist. Span, they're called NI80. They have a three and a half inch top and bottom. And then it's like an OSB in the center of those eye joists. Those will span going this way. It'll have stairs. Over in that corner, we'll come up three stairs to a landing, and then the rest of the way up to the middle of the upstairs. Be an entry door over on that side, a couple of windows over there, downstairs sliders. And then over on this side, there'll be a three foot, three foot wide, four foot high, double hung window. And then there'll be a couple windows upstairs. So, I'm going to go lay out the, the pressure treated for the front wall right now. All right. Chad and Kyle are down at the shop cutting cutting the uh, header parts. Uh, and then I should be right back down there in just a few minutes. Then we'll do all the, the uh, jack studs, king studs, all of that. I used to um, cut for the pressure treated, I would make just, this is going to be two feet long, two feet long, two feet long. I used to cut little pieces and, make, and fit those, but it made it harder to make sure everything was straight. So it's just as easy. It, it doesn't really waste that wood that we're going to cut out after the fact. We'll use that elsewhere, just to point that out. So let's see how we came. Right on perfect there. They did a really good job on this concrete. <laughs> a tree just fell in the woods and I was here to hear it. <laughs> I wonder what that was. Huh. So, this one has anchor bolts. So we will mark and drill those ahead of time. So I'm just going to locate where each one of those are. Okay, so once I make the mark left to right, measure from the outside of the slab to the center of the anchor bolt. 
doing five eighths. I'm going to write on this top so that I know. So when I get down there, I know that this is the top side of the two by four. Two and a half. Two and a quarter. And top on the second one. I'll number that number two. Should have numbered. I guess we can figure out if that's number two. This is number one because there's only one piece, uh, two pieces. Number one. Top number one. Top number two. Two and five eighths. There's a lot of you folks over in the UK that watch. And I appreciate you watching and quite often ask why, do, why I don't use metric. I just can't learn. Uh, I know that the, it, the, the numbers are easier, but for me to do that is just uh, a bit much for me at this point in my life. <laughs> I sound like I'm old. I don't think so. Two and a half, two and three quarters, or as they say in Maine, two and three quarters. All right, we'll load this back on the truck. We'll go down, drill those out, and then we'll build the walls and we'll come back. It's just really weird working this close <laughs> to home. So I did drill the holes down at the shop. We're bringing them back. We'll put sill seal on the bottom. Feels like it could rain at any minute. So this, this is a classic example of why we like to do drill anchor bolts after the fact. They put this anchor bolt right Where a stud goes <laughs> so that means we've got to drill out the underneath of the stud and we'll end up putting another we'll end up drilling and putting in uh, a wedge anchor in beside it so probably this one does too yeah it's one reason we like to do uh, I guess I mentioned that the wedge anchors instead of anchor bolts just a minor inconvenience This is me standing here while Chad works. Set these back out of the way, maybe for now. Another small difference here is we're having to, to just bend over to frame these, where typically we're on a framing table, so it's up at, at a stand-up height, but that's fine. I'm not gonna whine. ready all right wall one going up first I don't know if it's numbered one but oops my uh, my sill seal got messed up can you straighten it out if I pick it up? Yep. Good. Another thing with anchor bolts is there's two bolts. We have a stud here and we've got to bring the walls together. So it means we can't tighten any, anything down 
and we have to pick one wall up to get them to, to line up, and then we'll drop them both at the same time. Again, just a little more awkward. We ready? Sounds like I'm whining quite a bit. <laughs> there. Boy, it's getting dark over there. Not to, to belabor the point with anchor bolts, but this, this is what I usually run into. That's the third one that has been, hasn't worked out. Because typically that's where the, uh, the man door is going. We would center that door in that concrete drop uh, to the corner. And it's just, that bolt's no, no good. So we'll just cut it off and we'll, we'll put in some more um, wedge anchors. There we go. Probably should staple those again. Can you go up high and come into it? Ooh. <laughs> Flat tire on my truck. <laughs> the top have to come in. Oops. That lines up with that on this side. But... Nice. So four of about eight of the anchor bolts are in the, in the wrong spot. I think I'm gonna get in here. Side. Got it. <laughs> okay, we're done framing here for the day. We'll go. We'll get some measurements so that we can figure out. We'll know what this is going to be. Thirty-two and three quarters for this wall. We'll go over and get that one. I'm going to write that down because my memory is short. Forty-eight and a half. I'll make a note that that's to the top of the first plate, so that we know where where we're at. And tomorrow we'll come back with the uh, as far as the level. Make sure this is right on flush to the concrete, and then we'll drill some uh, wedge anchors through the stud into the concrete. We'll also put sill seal in here. We left room to fit that in. All right, that's all we did today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you uh, check out my other channel, Ken Scenic Journeys. Uh, we have a video coming out with that tomorrow that's super interesting about a little town with a big surprise. I'll also leave a link in the description box and maybe at the end when you can add a, a, another video to watch, it'll be for the other site. All right, thanks again. <laughs>